Chris, are you surprised that this level of patience is going on with LeBron and the Lakers? I think initially it's surprising everybody because I think there's been this false narrative out there now that LeBron always wants to go to a stacked team. Mm. He did that in Miami, but that was it. That was the one time. Like, when he went back to Cleveland in 2014, that was not a stacked roster. I mean, Kyrie was great but hadn't even been in the playoffs. They traded for Kevin Love, who, who had, had never made never the, playoffs. the playoffs. So, and remember, LeBron's letter in Sports Illustrated it was like, I'm going to be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. And I don't know that. And, and here's another th- two other things about this. He was at a different stage of his career. That was a more important stage of his career, mm-hmm. in my view, because he only had two rings. Mm-hmm. He had not had this really definitive championship win, which he got in 16 when they beat the 73-win Warriors and they came back from 3-1. Mm-hmm. So his legacy, while it was great, wasn't where it is now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and finally, like now we look at it like, well, whatever team LeBron's on in the East was going to win the East. Mm-hmm. That wasn't the feeling mm-hmm. in 2014. He Because when he was in Cleveland his first go-round, playing with, we'd say, play, throw whoever you want on LeBron's team, he's going to win it. They only got to the finals once. And then he got there four times in Miami, but it was with two other great players. Mm-hmm. So the notion that LeBron could just go to any team mm-hmm. and win the East really didn't. I don't think it was there in 2014 because I remember being at the other network. A lot of the experts did not think Cleveland would win the East. Mm-hmm. I thought they would, but a lot didn't think they'd win the East that year. So mm-hmm. I, I think that LeBron has actually, if you study it, shown some willingness to be patient in the past. Secondly, looking at the combination he wanted, which was an opportunity to win, a team with the flexibility and willingness to build to win, and family, and maybe even business. I think he he said this is the only, there was no ready-made situation. Mm. Philly would be ready-made to get to the finals, but family-wise, it wouldn't Mm -hmm. offer that business-wise. Boston just would have been messy with Kyrie, and Kyrie Houston would have had to destroy the team. You know, like, yeah, okay. that would have been messy financially and every other way. So, I don't know that he has any other choice either but okay. to be patient. Quick point of order before you go. When he left Dwayne and Bosch, he mostly left Dwayne because he viewed Dwayne, in my view, as being on his last legs. Because he, he thought yes, Dwayne he couldn't was. help him enough in the finals in which mm-hmm. they got blown off the floor by my San Antonio Spurs by a record finals margin. And he finally said... Dwayne's just about done, yep. so I got to go somewhere else and stay east, but I'll go home, which you can sell because it felt good to everybody. Mm-hmm. But he could see, because he has the highest IQ in basketball, he could see Kyrie was on the verge of becoming not just a star but a superstar. And I think he always liked Kevin Love's game because he saw he could provide that double-double sort of force in the middle and would w- he, he could get along with Kevin okay. He, he had to try to, to motivate Kevin, but he knew he had a better chance – going home to those two players than he had staying in Miami with Dwayne. I also quickly, because I know a chance turn, I also think even if Miami had won that championship, mm. I think LeBron was going to Cleveland. Mm. I really I really think he just wanted to go home and try to win them a championship, right. which obviously Well, that would have been really tough to leave after you win one. That's what's going to make it really tough with Kevin Durant that we talk about later, Skip. You yep. keep talking about him mm-hmm. joining LeBron. Yep. Um, no, I'm not surprised. <clears throat> Because I agree with you, I think where he is at this junction of his career says that he needs to be patient. But he also sees that when you go for it every year, sometimes you take on bad contracts. And when it doesn't work out for you, it hamstrings Mm -hmm. you what he was in Cleveland. Because really at the trade deadline, they was really not able to make any moves that substantially made them better. Mm -hmm. Now, I think the moves helped them get up out of the East, but it brought them no closer to competing against the Golden State Warriors. Mm. So he says, you know what, guys? Do what you need to do. We're going to keep this cap uh, cap space flexibility. We got some young assets that if somebody comes along the line that we think can help us, we don't have, you know, Rob Link and Magic Johnson, we don't have a problem getting up off some of these things. But it's going to be in our best interest. LeBron is seeing going for it every year. Man, you got to win it. Because if you don't, because we saw in Miami, they really couldn't turn the team over. Because you had all these guys on these big contracts, and then nobody else wanted – all they wanted was D-Wade, LeBron, or Bosh. Well, those are the guys you can't get rid of. When he went back to Cleveland, you had Kyrie, Bron, and, and, uh, and uh, Kevin Love. Well, that's the only people that they wanted. 
So now you're hamstrung. You can't do anything. Let's build this thing the right way. Mm. I got three years. Mm. Okay. So if you had told me one month ago that LeBron James would join a team, any team, without a second star or a third star, I would have just laughed at you because it appeared, and maybe it was a false narrative, I misread the tea leaves, it just appeared like in his 16th year, 17th year, 18th year, you just need to maximize your chances to win Mm -hmm. one more ring. And he did this, and now Magic is is volunteering publicly. By the way, Magic did a press conference because LeBron didn't. He did a big (laughs) conference call with a lot of reporters. But Magic is saying LeBron readily co-signed we have a three-year plan. We don't have a one-year plan. Three. Yeah, not a two-year plan, a three-year plan. Mm-hmm. And he's saying that LeBron encouraged nothing drastic, nothing risky, exact- nothing panicky, exactly. nothing desperate. Exactly. Just let's go slowly but surely here, which means next year, again, I love these young players, but they are still pretty young players. There's yeah. still a lot of green in there yeah. Yeah. They among that up. purple and gold, right? Well, building a team is like the stock market. Now, you can get these high-end stocks, Skip, that's going to swing the pendulum, but you're taking huge risk. Okay, but I do think he yeah. would if just like he did with yeah. Kevin Love. And, and you're right. He loved Kevin Love's game. Yeah. He had played he in the Olympics, played yeah. well. I don't think he saw that as a huge risk. No. You know, but w- if they could get Kawhi on a decent deal, I don't think he wants to break the bank for yeah. him. Okay. Not, not Ingram, streets. not Ingram, yeah. uh, Ingram and Kuzma and Hart mm-hmm. and a pick. No, 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 no. But I'm sure he would say if we can get him for a, 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 a solid deal, let's mm-hmm. do it. And see, speed so up I'm surprised he wouldn't co-sign that if they brought uh, him the every- deal. Kuzma, Brandon Ingram. Oh, let's go in order: Ingram, Kuzma, Josh Hart. And like then they want to no, but but forget about the picks. If you just did that right now, straight up, no, for run, Kawhi run. Leonard, that's a lot. No, I know exactly. it's, You I, think I, that's a good deal for the Lakers? I just think it's the deal that LeBron. I would I would bet that he would s- sign off on that. Well, you know why? You know why the Spurs can't move right? Not getting any deals because they know Kawhi won't out. So why am I going to offer you? Why am I going to offer you a king's ransom when I I believe there's a greater chance he's going? Okay, I might have to play here, but. You, they can offer Kawhi right, whatever. Here's the problem, the X factor in this equation. LeBron is entering his 16th year, and then it's going to be his 17th okay. and his 18th in year yeah. three. Yeah. Well, again, I'm going to ask you, at what point does Father Time tap him on the shoulder and say, your time is when up? When he calls Tom Brady name first. Okay, but that's a different that's game. That's a good point. I, you okay. I, I, you got to give Skip that. Like, like. LeBron has already defied Father Time. He has. 16, 15 years. He was sensational. Years, that was his best, best offensive year I thought of his whole career. He had to forfeit the defensive yep. end last year, and he'll have to continue to forfeit gonna it. He's going to have another year just like right. last year. All right. And the year after that. Year 16 and 17 going to be just like So he's immortal. He's no. invincible. No. He's Iron like 16 Man. 16 and 17 would be two years. Yeah. 18. What's he going to be like in his 18th year? We went with, Cause that's the third well, year. Well, if we if we win a t- well, he said it's going three year plan. The three year, the third that, that, that year mean we can't win a title two. in year two. He signed for three years plus a fourth year option. Yeah. Three years. Yeah. I think part of it too, part of the four year deal, which was smart, was not just I'm willing to be patient and give you guys yeah. three or four years. It was. I'm 33. I mean, I don't know if I can keep doing these one year deals and then keep getting maxed yeah. out. Like, I think it was smart to get that security because who knows when it's going to go. He hasn't shown any signs, but at some point, you got to think the age is going to kick in. I don't think it. (laughs) Because he's only 33. (laughs) Y'all make it seem like he's 39. But but it's the mileage. You you have to do dog years and NBA years. Like, it's 16 years. They good for like 500,000. No, he wasn't. Kobe was a Mercedes. They got different type of game. Different type of game. If Brian, he, no, if Brian he don't serves out this contract and does not get hurt, I'm going to knock on He'll wood. He'll be the all time leader. He's the most durable scorer. superstar in the history of sports so far. I'm knocking on wood again. But if he serves out these three years, he will break Kareem's record yeah. for minutes played in the league. That's extraordinary. And Kareem's record from points scored. You mentioned he needs that. Point. What, four years for that? Yeah. Uh, four years. So he played this contract out. But I think, Skip, this year for LeBron and the Lakers is about. Seeing which if one of if one of the second guys can become a star, can Ingram or okay. Kuzma 
Okay. Become I, that second guy. I, I am with you, but I still believe LeBron James needed a little break in his 16th year. He's coming west, so you got to give him that because yep. the degree of difficulty rises. But he's been under such strain in the east because he was the favorite for every year, and he got to eight straight finals. He just needed a break. He wants to let the kids grow around him and not yep. have quite the pressure and well, expectation. Well, you're going to Ingram do some heavy lifting. Okay. So maybe he doesn't have to do what he – because last I year – I think he's going to have a big year. Last – I do too. Last year was the was the first three years in Cleveland combined. Because what he had to do last year, Chris, that was ridiculous. Man shouldn't have to work that hard. Okay. Well, if he has a big year, will they have a big year? I think, of course. He, I think LeBron has got to be one of the front runners for MVP. He does. I, think he I agree. I think he, I agree. I think he should be the, the favorite. MVP. Yeah, I, no, win. I agree. I think he'll probably go, go out and win it. The MVP. They ain't winning no go 54 win games. Go win well, it. They're going to uh-huh. have to win 50 something uh-huh. for him to get the MVP. No, get it. I don't think so. He's get LeBron James. So you think he'll get it if uh-huh. they don't win 50 games? Yeah. He better average I a triple double. Well, Russ did. got it. What, what did that Russ Cause he, win? Because he, well, he triple double. That's what I'm saying. The, uh-huh. the triple double. He gonna do it. Nah, he, he won't I think they're going to win 30. 53. I gave him 47. Okay. Yeah. What would you say? He said 54. 54? Mm-hmm. He, he also said Rocky Stark, 14 no, and 14. No, what That's I originally what I mean. said, I said the Lakers will not lose 30 games this year, which would have put them at 52. He wanted 55. So you know what? Just so I get me a bet and go get me a case to do out of the deal, I go 54. Business man right there. 54. I also think, Skip, he, I think he was, I don't think he'd ever admit it. I think he was tired of losing in the finals. Well. Whether it was just losing in the finals. He's going to get a year off. Or, or, or you keep adding I, I on don't, to your losses. I don't disagree with that. And I don't I blame was, him for being yeah. tired. I think he was yeah. like, Either I'm tired of losing with what I'm coming yeah. to the finals with. Because I ain't going to beat him. Yeah. He also wants to but be a by movie the time, star. By the time he gets to the mm-hmm. – if he gets to the finals in the West, by the time he gets there, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to be tough because mm. Boston's going to be good and Philly is going to be really good. Right. So mm-hmm. it's not going to be an easy but you, you said victory that, you over you the You said Eastern that with Conference the premise that, that Kyrie's going to be there and Jason Tatum's going to be there and Jalen Brown's well, going to be there. Jason's going to be there for sure. Okay. Mm. I, think, I agree. Kyrie, we don't know. Yeah. I give you that. LeBron but Philly's going to be coming. In LeBron three James. years? Yeah. yeah. Them boy's going to be back. I can feel the expectations just rising you. around LeBron totally, and I totally agree. But you know what Shakespeare 20, 20, 20. said? Heavy nope. is the head that wears the Ooh, crown. That's correct. Right? Heavy. That's All right. right. That's, that's, right. Why, that's, right. that's why he likes it. Wait a second. Head. I got one last prediction. What? LeBron James will win an Oscar before he wins another <laughs> ring. That's what I believe. It's some do on I that. I told you that. It's you do on what? that? I told you that, and that's happening. No, he's winning an MVP. Oscar before another ring. All right, fellas. Chris. 